time to get excited for UH men's hoops. Good evening. I'm MG Montemayor. Coming up tomorrow, a Hawaii basketball doubleheader. Rainbow Warriors will look to stay undefeated in 2017, facing a stout Nevada team. Obviously, we're looking forward to the challenge. It's going to be a great challenge. You're talking about a, a team that won the Mountain West last year, went to the NCAA tournament, and picked to win the Mountain West, and, and has been very impressive thus far. Uh, they pose a lot of threats, a lot of challenges on both sides of the ball, a lot of talent, well coached. I'm really excited. I know we're really excited, but it starts with our practices leading up to that. 11 days after its 72 to 67 overtime win over Troy, Hawaii will look to topple an also undefeated Wolfpack team, its third 2017 NCAA tournament opponent this year. Rose won the last meeting in 2015 for the Rainbow Classic title. The game tomorrow is a green out, tip off at 8 p.m. at the Stan Sheriff Center. Three games in three days. We're going to again find out kind of what we're made of, where our moxie is. Sure, we'd love to go 3 0 this weekend, but that's really tough against this caliber of, of opponent, and every opponent is very different. Before the men's game, UH women's basketball will take its Bank of Hawaii classic crown with them in the Rainbow Wahine showdown tomorrow. Ladies get their shot at extending their win streak to four following the 64-63 overtime win over San Diego on Sunday. First up is Maris. Tip-off is at 5.30 p.m. Rainbow Warriors football season closing in on the final game of the season. Not only the final game of the 2017 squad, but perhaps the last ever for 20 seniors. There's going to be guys who may never put a helmet on. They may put it on looking themselves in the mirror, but they're not going to put it on and use it like they always, that they once was. It's sad. It's the culmination of a college career. As disappointing as this season was, and especially in comparison to uh, the highs of last year for just making a bowl game and stuff, I, I'd say this generation that's graduating right now, we, we've been through all the hard days of child. We've, we've been part of these losing years and stuff, but I think the most important thing is that that's why we came here. We, we came here to try and change things, and I hope, if anything, that's what we can be remembered for. We, we gave everything to Hawaii. On senior night, Hawaii will be squaring off with non-conference opponent BYU for the 30th time. Bows are 3-8 and eight overall. Cougars are 3-9. and nine. The Cougs have won the last 10 meetings in 15 years. UH's last win over BYU was in 2001 when head coach Nick Rolovich was the team's quarterback. Kickoff is 4 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. Well, it's Thanksgiving, and you know what that means. Feasting and a triple serving of the NFL. First game on tap, the Red Hot Vikings at Detroit. Quarterback Case Keenum continues his role for the purple and gold. He keeps it here for a nine-yard score. Vikings share a meal in the end zone, a heartwarming touchdown celebration. But look out for the half. Matthew Stafford finds Marvin Jones for six yards to stay within 10. Lions down by a touchdown late in the fourth. Stafford tries Jones again, but is picked off by Xavier Rhodes. Ball game, 30-23. Vikings the final for their seventh straight win. Phillip Rivers and the Chargers in Arlington goes LA's way all day. Rivers throws a second touchdown pass here to Tyrell Williams for 27 yards. Dallas will finally get on the board in the fourth with a Rod Smith two-yard run. And Dak Prescott still trying to get going, looks for a receiver on this play and is intercepted instead by Desmond King for 90 yards and a score. Lightning Bolts trample the Cowboys 28-6 the final. And Giants at Washington. Slow going for both teams in the first half. First touchdown was in the third on this play by Jamison Crowder for 15 yards, courtesy of Kirk Cousins. New York will have its chance. Cousins spots a wide open Byron Marshall, but ball had some grease on it. It's picked up by Denoris Jenkins for a 53-yard touchdown return. Late in the fourth, Washington trying to pull away. Cousins finds Josh Doxson in the end zone, and it's a perfect catch. An extra field goal by the Skins seals it. 20 to 10, Redskins the final. Two. Two and one. <laughs> on Thanksgiving Day. It's the best I've ever done. I'm going to celebrate. Good job. Good job. Hey, Vikings won, so. For a, a little bit here, I'm in last place. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how it goes. For a little bit. 